Hi guys, you're welcome to the Lever Studios. We are on to another Android application development tutorial. What about we're talking about elastic download animation? This animation will be replacing a progress bar, particularly when files are being downloaded from the internet. We are going to uh, integrate two download processes where we'll be uh, explaining in details how those process flows. First of all, we're going to talk about the successful download process animation and we're going to mention the failed download animation. Without much ado, let me move straight to Android Studio where I have the source file of this particular application and I'll be explaining in details how to integrate uh, the library, the Elastic Download Library into your Android project. Right there in the build.gradle, the module app session, you need to include these two compiles. Uh, the first one is the Calm GitHub, uh, the Elastic Download 1.0, that's above, 1.0 and above. While the second is the Jake Walton button knife uh, 6.1.0 uh, library. You need this particular compiles. So after including these, just synchronize to Gradle. And your application is set to use the Elastic Download Library. In the rest, we have the layout, the activity main XML, which is going to be the UI launcher of this particular application. It's a relative layout with the Elastic. If you notice, it's calling from the schema, uh, the APK REST R2, and we have the layout with tonight, match parent, and the context is the main activity. While we include the tag, Elastic Download View, where we assign an ID to it called Elastic Download View, and uh, the layout with tonight, wrap content, while the background color is sort of, um, uh, you know, let's say green or so. The layout center in parent is true. Uh, a closing relative layout for the uh, parent tag, but take in cognizance the the elastic download view tag. So this is very important. This is actually what we uh, launch the download view. Uh, let's look at the menu. I have the menu main and the menu vector test XML. You now this menu vector is very very important. Uh, where we call on the context, uh, the vector text activity. Which is actually calling uh, this uh, the uh, Aaron Tibor, which is the Elastic Download View. Afterwards, I have the values. I have our strings. Uh, well, we have the action run success animation, and for the fail animation and the activity vector test. You know, these are all string values or string uh, words. From here, I'll be moving to the Java class. Uh, well, I only have the main activity as a Java class. Uh, this main activity extends the action back activity, and we have the inject view, which is calling the elastic download view. Uh, that's an ID from the XML. And uh, we have a field called the elastic download view. And in our own create method, you know, it's going to call on the activity main XML, which is the activity main uh, XML UI of this particular application. The elastic download view is uh, actually from the vector test, so don't get that uh, mixed up. Now we call on the button knife uh, library to inject this particular class. The on create options menu, uh, this is going to inflate the menu, and this adds items to the action bar if it's present. So whether we call on the menu main XML. We have the on options item selected. This is going to handle the action bar item click here, where we're going to include uh, two uh, menus. The first is for the download success, and the second is for the download fail. No? So we're going to have an if statement here to check the particular ID in question. So if the ID is action run success animation, that's going to be handler. A new handia which is going to actually run at the background. We have the M elastic download view that's going to start the introduction and uh, it's going to be a post delayed for some while. What about if there's a success in the uh, download? Uh, the progress download view will be showed and the animation duration will be counted. You know, this is actually handling the, the download, uh, the progress download. But we are about showing this. It's going to return true. So if the ID in question, that's if the menu in question is the action fill animation, 
the same thing is going to happen. There's going to be another post. Baba is going to start the intro. Now there's going to be a post delayed. The set progress will be set to 45 index. What about the animation duration base also will be set to the progress download view. And there is going to be an animation fail method being triggered. So the animation is actually going to pick the, the failed uh, animation. So once uh, the ID is being uh, set to the action run field animation. So it's going to return the super on options item selected based on the item access parameter. So this is just uh, the video talk for today. What about we're going to be having two kind of uh, progress download, you know, for the success and for the fail. So you can integrate this to your application. You can integrate it while downloading uh, any file from the internet. So that if it's been downloaded, you're just passing the method of download here. So on success, it's going to trigger this animation. On field, it's going to trigger the other uh, field animation. So that's just what this is. I'll be showing the screencast of this particular application. And I will implore you to uh, lay hands on this. Trick your UI. You know, do something different. Do something funky with your download progress. And let uh, uh, your UI get more slick. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout the session. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't go nowhere. Stick glue to Taylor Studios. Thank you very much and Happy New Year.